Hello everyone, Seymour Better here with ChristianEyewear.com But call me Mo, Mo Better, because I'm have you seen Mo Better look at Mo Better and I'm going to show everyone else how I bring God's love and feeling back to glasses. When I introduce to you Christian Eyewear, I'm the pioneer, the first person to do Christian Eyewear. This model number is John 316. It comes with two crosses, a silver and matching silver cross on each temple and temple tip. They're available in more colors and more. I'll get to that in just a moment, but let me go ahead and begin cutting my lenses. Now these come as sunglasses, but I'm going to take out the dark lenses and put in my prescription lenses. Now I have transition, so when I go outside they'll turn dark, but while I'm inside they'll be light. So. I want to program this shape into the computer so that years from now, should I ever need new lenses, I can just pull this up. This is mostly for others. I can always cut more for me. But if anyone else were to buy this, I would assign a number to this when I cut your lenses. That way, should you ever need more lenses for any frame that I offer, I'll, they'll be programmed into the database. I'm going to hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up. It's going to go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at ChristianEyewear.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase. Now I'm out of network as far as insurances go so when you submit my itemized receipt you will get a your out of network reimbursement, but you'll get the full reimbursement from your health savings account flex dollars should you have some of those. Now, you hear the term seeing is believing, this time believing is seeing. And I'm going to take you on an optical journey and you will, hopefully you will see what I believe. And I believe that these will be a wonderful way to express your love and devotion to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what a better way to honor him and to start a dialogue with others as I see that if you wear a cross necklace, bracelet, earrings, clothing, this is one more Christian fashion that you can wear to let everyone know that your faith and that you're a believer and a follower of the Lord. So this is the shape that I'll be cutting, only larger. So let me go ahead and magnify that back up. Now I'm using the Zeiss Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens. I'm over 40 years old, so I need the invisible bifocal, of which I have these here. Take the lens out of the first packet. Now I have three dots on there that orients it. It tells me that it's going in there correctly. This is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got two here. Place this on the first one. Do the same thing now for the second one. I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back, that silver button is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time, it's going to attach itself to another magnet there. Oops, oop, 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 oop. That's still stuck to me. Magnet there in the arm. Now, I need to enter my pupillary distance, which is 31 for the right eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the minus button until we get to 31. I want to raise the optical center height, the seg height, to 24. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. Now I can lay out my lens, make sure that it's oriented in there just perfectly. Okay, always like to check to make sure the lens is large enough and it is. Going to, as I study this, hit that button, the arm's going to come down, place the block onto the right lens. We'll do the same thing now for the left lens. And in the future, I highlight. I've been making, I've been a licensed optician for 21 years. I went to opticianry school for this. I have personally made over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for people in my community, and now I'm going to make them for you. But I highlight, and I'll go ahead and do that now so you know what to expect in the future videos. The prescription for my right eye is plus one minus a quarter at 136, plus one minus a quarter at 36, my bifocal strength of two. I highlight. So these are the Zeiss Progressive Light D18 1.59, which is a refractive index of poly. And it says Photofusion Pioneer, which stands for the Pioneer Green. The DO stands for DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare. 
and let's do the same thing now for the left lens take it out put it onto the platform the prescription reads plus one minus a quarter at 17 plus one minus a quarter at 17 again this is the left lens the Zeiss progressive light D 1.59 which is the refractive index of polycarbonate photofusion pioneer green with DuraVision chrome now if you guys missed any of that let me recap by the way, you'll find out I give away free jokes, free bad jokes, no free good jokes, free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses. Now, I've been doing Ray-Bans, Polo, Versace's, Oakley, Silhouettes, other brands for years and years. Let me change the PD to 30 on this one. I woke up one day and realized I'm a cover band. I've been putting lenses in other people's songs for years and I decided to write my own song. And so I had to find out what song did I faithfully believe in and essentially that song is the Savior Jesus Christ John 3 16 that's why I put it on the very first frame there's more frames coming but John 16 is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life so it all starts with that one more and more frames are gonna have more Bible passages Again, this is Christian eyewear designed in USA by me. So this is the blocker, this is the tracer, this is what's known as the edger. This is what's going to edge the lens down till it's this size. This wheel in the center, by the way, this costs $40,000, the whole setup. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home and you will need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to cut them for you. The actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away the lens material till it's the final size. This wheel in the center that has the V-shaped bevel is going to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Now I'm going to wake up the computer. This is job ID number. 2842 2842 so it's programmed i've transferred the data from here to here these are polycarbonate lenses if they were plastic high index plastic or trivex i would select those materials but we're going to stay with polycarbonate because that's the material of choice for me but you can always get any material that you choose i'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens because it's not going to protrude from the frame. I am, however, going to put a safety bevel, which is a very fine grit sandpaper on the back concave surface of the lens. Even though no portion of this lens will protrude from the frame, but you'll see why I do that in just a moment. Press the sticker on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do its job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. So, did I mention free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses? So I'm gonna hit the green start button. The clean door closes. I've been criticized in other videos, I need to clean the door. So for the inaugural video for Christian Eyewear, I clean the door. Jeff down in Florida, I hope you're happy. So the lens is being traced by two white styluses, making sure it's large enough to go into the frame and then measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so I have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which I won't have any because of my prescription in this thicker frame. But I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for free. Now keep in mind, I was home of free prescription lenses for the longest time. You're still going to get your free prescription lenses. It's just going to be in my brand. Now, the water that's in the background causing the light to flicker that's there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Unlike the plastic, high-index plastic, and Tribex, which is a different lens material, water sprays on those lenses continuously. Now, water will spray onto this lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of the lens. Now, polycarbonate is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact, ballistics grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. Speaking of protection, all lenses have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen protection. 
unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. So now it's getting the V-shaped bevel. Now, speaking of protection, Zeiss has partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection all the way up to 400 nanometers. And that's why they partnered with the American Cancer Society because of their complete protection. Now, the Zeiss photochromic lenses also goes by the name Transitions, Photofusion. They also offer 30 to 40% blue light protection. I also have an anti-glare coating known as DuraVision Chrome. There's several to choose from and there'll be a link on the website that describes them. But uh, this has a greenish hue to it and with the Photofusion green I thought that would look best. Now anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. Now in just a moment I will open this door with my mind. If you like that I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just have to stare at it for a couple hours and then it will melt. But so yeah, reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain, but street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights and such. The other feature is it goes by the initials ARC, which stands for anti-reflective coating. So it reduces reflection. So when someone's looking at you, this lens has no coating. They won't be looking at the reflection, so it makes for much better eye contact. Or if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the camera, your phone, excuse me, in the lens. Or if someone takes a picture with a camera and a flash, you're less likely to see the flash light up. Now the third feature that I like, the practical side, it comes with the industry's hardest scratch coating to because the machine that applies the anti-glare costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So, the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens, I'm going to see if the lens fits in first time around. It's not unusual to have to take it down a little bit more. There's the old carpenter saying, you can always add more to a piece of, I mean, excuse me, excuse me. You can always cut more off of a piece of wood. You can never add it back on. So I start a little large, work my way down, tuck it in at the outside corners using my thumbs. I press down at the nose. It doesn't want to go in. So I'm going to take about another tenth of a millimeter off, hit the retouch. It's a corny saying, but the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning. So uh, you want a perfectionist like me cutting every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide. Of course, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. But let me take a moment to show you the three primary colors that the John 316 is going to be introduced in. It comes in a black, a wood color, and a purple. Now, in those two colors, you can get them as sunglasses, non-prescription sunglasses, non-prescription clear lens. But you can also get them prescription, prescription. But they come with a gold cross on the temple and the temple tip on each frame. And of course, the one you see for me has silver and silver because I, my hair is still mostly black, but I have a little bit of silver highlights coming in above my ears. So I figured that would match rather nicely. Now I'll get back to the wood, but I'm also doing the majestic purple because when Jesus was having to carry the cross through Jerusalem, the Roman soldiers threw a purple robe on him. And so I made this color, color number three, majestic purple. Plus, this is the color of Easter, and this is where I got that idea. I was sitting in Easter services 2019, looking at everyone who had Christian jewelry on. Again, from necklaces to bracelets to earrings. Men had the crucifix on their ties, and other women had them on their hats. And I said, how come no one has ever done that on glasses? So I decided to. Now, they have lasered a space into the temple, and then this metal piece sits flush. Again, you can get it with silver or gold on there depending on if you like to wear silver and platinum jewelry or gold future colors like for instance there's going to be a red that will have a black cross so that is coming now the other thing with the wood and i figured if you're going to do a crucifix frame if you're going to walk up to the bell ring it if you're going to do a frame based on the crucifix this is color two which is dogwood because allegedly jesus was crucified on a dogwood tree and so I had to name this one Dogwood. And again, there's, in the future frames, there'll be lighter color woods and darker woods. There'll be redwoods, there'll be walnuts, everything is possible. Hopefully a golden oak. I would love to see this in a lighter color, but I'm working on that. So let's see if the lens fits this time. Take it out of the clamp, the chuck. Tuck it in at the outside corners first. 
using my thumbs press down the nose it snaps right in the block practically comes off dry that off add back to the add that to my sticker collection now I can go ahead and start cutting the left lens flip that over to L place the magnet into the Chuck the Charles the Chucky baby the chuck -arama. hit the green start button the door closes the clamp shuts just like before it's going to be traced by two white styluses making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round and you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side of the frame just like before measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which for me I have no edge thickness that's why I use the thinner lighter weight unbreakable polycarbonate and for the cosmetic reasons for the safety reasons now this is where I would do the final inspection but one of my dots is worn off so I'm gonna come back down here make sure all the dots are in the right place progressives have a layout chart I'm putting that on the Zeiss chart and now that dot is gonna sit directly in front of my pupil now again if you guys missed any of that let me recap oh you moan at that joke but you'll be telling it tomorrow so again my prescription reads plus one minus a quarter at 136 I'm going to turn the axis wheel to 136 put the lens in just above that black dot read the power and I am getting plus one exactly halfway between zero and two now if you notice the one is a black number there's a plus symbol for the for far-sighted people myopes near-sighted people there is a minus in the red so the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled d-i-o-p-t-e-r it starts at zero and goes up in quarter increments from there 0.25 0.50 0.75 1 so i'm on the fourth rung of a ladder for nearsighted correct far-sighted correction excuse me i'll get i'll get to my nearsighted but once everything is the correct size i have one step of astigmatism correction now there is a stigma over the word astigmatism it just means shape it's like saying someone has straight hair someone else has curly hair everyone freaks out when they hear that word for no reason it just means you have a second curve on your eye i have a plus one here and then a second curve 90 degrees if this is the x-axis this is the y-axis and i have another curve here that's slightly steeper by one step now uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters p and f think of it as the fine tune knob and we're going to turn that fine tune knob again straight line 0 to 90 to 180 we're going to turn that fine tune knob to about 136 so let's check the second curvature on the lens we're now at plus 75 one tick mark away from one going back towards zero that's because if you had a dollar and, and you gave someone 25 cents you would have 75 cents left that's where at 0 0.75 in the black now we're going to come down here one other thing we're going to do now I've worn the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfarer for about seven to eight years. I find it to be so comfortable, so durable that I was influenced and I decided that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to continue to wear this frame. But if you want to find out what they look like, you can go into any store that sells the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair size 55 now this frame comes this Ray-Ban comes in a 52 the 55 I'm holding in my hands and a 58 just make sure you get it in a 58 eye size um, excuse me excuse me correction 55 do not try on the 52 do not try on the 58 try on the 55 eye size and you'll know exactly how these will fit you can see the similarities in there now the one thing I did do this has what's known as a three barrel hinge there's two barrels on the actual temple there's one on the frame front this is the frame front these two go here the screw goes in and that's the three pieces the one thing i wanted to do for my collection is i put a seven barrel hinge on there i wanted these to be as strong as i'll get out so four here three here before the actually hang on there we go before the screw goes in and that's what's going to make it nice and strong now to show you how similar they are let me take my left lens out I'm gonna pop the lens out of this Ray-Ban the heavy glass lens take the left lens from my Christian John 316 tuck it in on the left side press down it snaps right in that's how similar they are so again go into any store 
or if anyone has ever worn the Ray-Ban 2132 new Wayfair in size 55, you'll know exactly how it will fit on you. Let me set this to the side. Yeah, I woke up one day and realized I'm just a cover band. I've been putting lenses in other people's songs and I wanted to write my own songs. The tune I'm singing now is Christian Eyewear, John 316. And I'm just getting started. The guy who built my website for me, let me tuck this in on the outside corner using my thumbs, press down with the nose, it snaps right in. He says, you're only starting with one frame. There's six options, three colors as sunglasses, same frame, three colors as clear. And I said, uh, I quoted the passage from Zechariah, Do not despise small beginnings. The Lord loves to see the work begin, and I'm only just beginning. There will be more frames coming, more sizes coming. And the really cool thing, later this week I'll have some more to show you. But I'm going to turn the fine two knob to 17, which corresponds to the axis of my left eye. We're going to put it on 17. And that's 117. Hang on, 17, 17. Did I mention I went to college for this? <laughs> I joke around a lot, but I, I take my, my work very seriously and I take my religion seriously. So, plus one, exactly halfway between zero and two. That's where you're going to find one. Check my, and when I'm looking inside, I can't see what you guys are seeing, but three skinny lines come into focus and then i'm going to check the astigmatism correction and then three thicker lines further apart should come into focus let me look in there and see and they did yeah there we go now you see the three thicker lines at least i hope you do again i can't tell what the gopro is seeing inside the eyepiece now when the this is known as final inspection I'm just inspecting to make sure the lenses are cut perfectly, that uh, the optical center is both, just like the crosshairs of a scope, I measure vertically and horizontally to put the optical center dead center in front of your crosshair, your pupil. So I want to go ahead and measure on the lens now. The PD, my pupillary distance for the right eye is 31, for the left is 30, for a total of 61. That's the horizontal. The vertical is 24 millimeters. Place the PD stick against my thumb. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 61 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the thickest part of the plastic at the deepest part of the frame. And we're at 24 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. That is cut perfectly. Now, the last thing I do is I get the frame in a three-point stance. But as I clean your lenses, I want to mention to everyone that when you get these in the mail, and of course free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, there is a small chance that these could fit too loose. I'm going to demonstrate that. These would be too loose on you or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments for you if you ask. But again, I will get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, the Ray-Bans I've been wearing for years, when I take, I'm part of that 80%. I have one ear that's lower than the other, or is it one ear that's higher than the other? I can never remember. Again, feel free to, I'm going to stop. You better laugh at that joke or I'm not going to keep going. All right, I heard some laughing. So when I press down on the counter, on the frame, they'll wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. So I'm going to flip these over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. The neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge. Make sure that's uniform. If one was tighter, one was looser, I would tighten the looser one. I would loosen the tighter one until they were matching. Now, I also send out a selfie request. You will see my selfie on the website. In fact, you're about to see what I look like wearing these. I'm going to go ahead and clean these off. And let's go ahead and put these on. Pick this off, spin this around. Hello, everyone. I'm Seymour Better, the chief designer for Christian Eyewear. And now you can see how they look. Again, I've got the silver on silver that goes with my wisdom highlights on both sides. It's funny how I have gray hair on both sides. But this is what they look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light and turn them dark. Let me put this back on. Sorry for live video here. But as you will see, all 
photochromic transition lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks are exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time the photochromic transition lenses will not darken is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, the transitions comes in four colors. Gray, brown, green that you're about to see, and a blue. I decided to try green. I wanted to go with that Ray-Ban green since this looks like the Ray-Ban frame. Now, there's a photochromic extra gray that will get 30 to 50% dark behind a windshield. Now, as you can see, they all get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks are exposed. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Having said that, the Photofusion Extra Gray will get darker in hotter weather. It's designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. Or if you're just light sensitive or if you live in a hot climate, you may want to think about it. Now, this is what they look like, the Photofusion Green. When I hold them up to the light, they look like the Ray-Ban Green lenses in that frame. As I keep talking, in fact, let me go ahead and put these on. Ah. Okay. Now you see what they look like dark. And as I keep talking, they will get lighter and lighter. But uh, do me a favor. Just to remind you, Jesus loves you. All I'm trying to do is get a like. Hit the thumbs up button if you've liked this video. Click the cross icon in the bottom right hand corner so you can be to subscribe and get future notifications of frame and lens combinations as they become available. Now, I'll still add all the Ray-Bans, Oakley, Polo, Versace, Silhouettes, all the other frames that I've been offering you for years on from free prescription lenses back to this site. But if there's a frame on there that's not listed yet, just email me. Go to the contact me page, which is info at Christian Eyewear. Just click contact me, and that's the email that will pop up. You can follow me on Facebook as Christian Space Eyewear. On Instagram and Twitter is one word, Christian Eyewear. And you can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But as I keep talking, you will see these getting lighter and lighter. And again, the silver with the silver the silver with the silver. It's taken me years to earn those highlights. I'm, I'm going to milk them for what they're worth now. But let me put this back on my head so I can show you the frame up a little bit closer and see what I'm actually doing. But do me a favor. If you guys truly have liked this and think this is inspirational and you like the idea, please share this video on any social media platform sites that you use. I am the, literally the proverbial David competing with corporate Goliaths, and it would really help tremendously help me if uh, more and more people got a chance to see this. So share this video on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media that you use so more and more people will see this. I can do any prescription glass. I can do single vision. In fact, this frame the is a package single vision frame and lenses complete for one forty nine the line style traditional bifocals 199 complete the frame that i'm wearing the progressive with the invisible bifocal is 249 complete now the photo fusion gray brown green that i have here or blue adds 99.99 duravision chrome is at 69 for a total of 417 tax free the reason why i point out tax free now a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax i'm in north carolina north carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device there is no tax collected on medical devices here in North Carolina, and that's how I'm able to remain tax-free. And of course, as I mentioned, free shipping anywhere in the U.S. But thank you as I come along my spiritual journey, as I find my calling. Now, I like to tell everyone, this may not be my calling, but I, now I'm going to be able to see where my calling will take me. So, there will be more and more frames coming. Thank you for watching. Please share this video. And now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring God's loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.